Have you ever wanted a custom shop GUI in Minecraft? Introducing the Essentials Add-on by Poe. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a custom shop GUI. By the end of this video, you'll be able to sell and buy items inside a cool looking chest GUI. So, let's get into this video. Welcome back guys to another Minecraft video where today I'm going to be doing a add-on showcase. This add-on basically allows you to create custom shop GUIs. So I'm going to go ahead and do this command here and you will see we have a custom shop right here. We click on it and then we have all these items that we can buy for money. Now this is not actual mine coins. <laughs> this is fake money in the game. But you can buy things. You can buy a diamond, you can buy an oak log, and you can buy pickle. What? <laughs> you can buy a pickle pickaxe! And each one has a cost value. If you click on them, you can then go ahead and buy these items. You can input a custom amount of items to buy. It will cost this amount of money. And bam! As you see, we now bought a stack of 64 logs for $64. We can also do this command here, sell, and we can sell the oak logs for $1 each. And there we go, we sold 64 oak logs for $64. And that's pretty much how this custom GUI system works. Now I'm going to explain how to set up the custom shop. This add-on adds custom commands. You have to use exclamation mark instead of slash for these custom commands. So these are the custom commands, there are player commands, you got the shop command which allows you to buy items, you got the sell command which allows you to sell items, then you got the admin commands, you got shop setting group and then you have all these sub groups, you can add a group, you can edit a group and you can remove a group. You can also do the same thing over here, shop setting item. You can basically add a item, you can edit an item that's in the shop, or you can remove a item. Now this might not make much sense now, but once I start using it, it will make sense. You also have to become an admin to use the admin commands, <laughs> who would have guessed? So you will need op, and you will need to tag yourself with the admin tag. So if you want to set up a custom buy shop, you will need to do shop setting group add you'll need to add a group we're going to add a group called blocks we're going to add a group icon which is just a minecraft item we're going to use grass block and then if we do slash shop you will see we have a new group called blocks we set its icon to be grass and if we wanted to move this into another slot we would have to do slash shop setting group edit we're going to edit it we're going to Go to icon position edit and we can select the slot which we would want it to be at and as you see the blocks are now right here you may see that there's no items inside it so when you click on it it will say no items found that's why we have to add a item to our shop so shop setting item add that said there's also edit and remove so you can edit the items that are in your shop and you can remove the items that are in your shop i'm gonna add our pickles pickaxe to our shop so make sure you're holding the item that you want to have in your shop in your hand. I'm going to do this command and then we're going to click on the group blocks. We're going to select the price. We're going to make the price $15 for our pickle pickaxe. <laughs> you can choose a display name and a item icon. This is also optional when you're setting up an item in your shop. We go to our blocks. You will see we have pickles in our block shop. Wait, what? <laughs> Something doesn't seem right about this. I don't think I categorized this shop right. A block shop selling a pickaxe. <laughs> That's so silly. Yeah, you might want to create better names for your shops than me. We can now buy pickle pickaxes. Now you will see that it says a maximum of 33. That's because we don't have enough money for more than 33 of these pickaxes. So if we do this, we can purchase this for $15. And there we go, we bought a new pickle pickaxe. If you do money command, you will see that it will tell you how much money you have. We have $149. Yeah, 
If you don't have enough money, you won't be able to buy your stuff. Who would have guessed? There we go. We set up a custom buy shop. Now, how do we set up a sell shop? Well, that's very easy. What if we wanted to sell our pickle pickaxe back to our sell shop? Well, if you do this, the sell command, you will see that right now we are only selling oak logs. We need to create a sell shop. So sell setting item. Actually, no, this is different. You gotta just do the ad directly. Sell setting ad and make sure you're holding your pickle pickaxe in your hand. And there we go, we can set up our sell shop. We're gonna create a display name of pickles. We're gonna sell it for $15, submit. So if we do sell, we can now sell the pickle pickaxe. Look at that, for $15. So we set up a sell shop, we set up a buy shop and all that. And remember, every time you're using this ad, you can also use edit and remove. So we could remove it from our sell shop we do this we just removed pickles from our sell shop what if we wanted to also remove our pickles from our normal shop well we're going to use shop setting item remove and we can just go to blocks and click on the one that we want to remove we want to remove pickles from our <laughs> buy shop there we go we removed pickles from our shop completely and we added it well ladies and gentlemen that's the end of this add-on review i hope you enjoyed this short add-on review Hopefully I see more people using this custom shop GUI on maps or multiplier because this is a really cool add-on. Thank you Poe for the add-on and goodbye. Gamer, I am hundreds. YouTube channel.